Hey everybody, welcome back to your database design series. I just dropped my chalk. In this video we're going to be talking about modality, which is basically a continuation of the last video. So be sure to watch that if you haven't seen that already. So a lot of these design concepts you've already learned from previous videos in this series, but now I'm talking about the technical terms for drawing them out when we're actually drawing our database because we can think about our database all we want but it's not really going to be effective until we actually draw it out so we can see how things are worked or connected and then we can program it from there so yeah first I like to explain the concepts then I like to explain design concepts and then I like to explain uh, actually turning that into a database which we're not going to be covering much in this video because this is database design but yeah, I have a MySQL tutorial series if you're interested in that. And we might be doing some more after this one. So, let's get, let's get started because it's already been a minute. Modality, it's basically whether or not the child is a required child. If the, if the relationship is required. We talked about that when we talked about the uh, column characteristic uh, not null. So, think of it like this. We have a credit card company, we have a table for the card holder, and then we have a table for the card. Obviously, the card holder, the ID for the card holder, the person who owns the card or, or buys the card from the credit card company, they're going to have an ID, and that's going to be a not null column, meaning it has to have a value. That is obvious because it's going to be the primary key, surrogate primary key, and it has to have a value. So we have like this guy and he has an ID of 7. We have another guy with the ID of 12 and then 368 and so forth. Those are IDs, you see? Card, that is going to have a column which is a foreign key referencing the card holder because the card is the child in this relationship. So the card holder has the primary key. Can you see that down there? Yes, you can. Card is going to have a foreign key which connects to these. So this is going to be a foreign key, meaning these are the people that own a certain cards. So we have a card with the ID of 12, we have a, car a card with the ID of 48. I'm just making up numbers right here. We have a card with the ID of 98. We have a card with the ID of 112. Well, they each have an owner. You see, this is the owner. And this is a foreign key which references the primary key. So 7, this card is going to be owned by that person. 7, this card is going to be owned by that person. 7, this card is going to be owned by that person. So all of these three cards are owned by that person. 368, that's going to be owned by somebody else. Now, if we gave this column right here, the foreign key, the basically the card holder column, because it's a child, if we gave it the column characteristic not null, it would be required that every single row has an owner. And that means we can't have a card in here that is either not activated and doesn't have an owner, or we can't have a card in there that is not being currently possessed by a card holder. Because you think if you have a credit card, somebody owns that credit card. But when you first make a credit card or something, or if you, re like, uh, if, if you get rid of the credit card or something, it might be a credit card that currently does not have an owner. Does that make sense? So basically just a credit card that's not being actively used or is uh, disabled or something like that and does not have a card holder. Well, if we, wanted us to, if we wanted this database to be able to store cards that don't have owners, we would not want the not null characteristic, because that's going to prevent it. So that's kind of how that works. So if we take that off, then we could have a card down here with the ID of 101 that doesn't have a card owner. Well, I know we, we've already explained this all, but now let's talk about designing. So let's just make this simple, we'll pay attention to the, uh, we'll say, We'll say one card. Well, this obviously is going. We're going to talk about a a one to many relationship. 
meaning one card holder owns many cards. And we're also going to be talking about a one to one relationship, meaning one card owner owns one card. If we want to do a many to many, uh, we just need an intermediary table. The same concept kind of applies, but uh, we don't necessarily have to go through that. Just break it into a one to many, two, two one to many relationships. All right, so let's try this. So we have, over here we have the table. That's going to be the card owner. Over here we have the table for the cards. And there's a relationship between these two. That's a really big gap, but whatever. So let's start over here. We can say one card holder because that's what we're just going to say one card holder for each time. Let me bring this in some so you can actually see. One card holder can have one card. So what we just did is cardinality. We talked about this in the last video. Now let's do another example. We'll just do the same thing, and you'll see why in a second. Let's do another example. And then finally, one more example. I'm running out of room here. So we have the basic relationships. Now we can add one more thing to say if it's nullable or not nullable. Basically, does the child, this is the child, which is the card, we're asking, does, it, does the uh, foreign key column have the not null characteristic? That's so we have the possible relationships one to one, oops, one to many. Now, what we're going to do is we're able to add the modality in. And the way we do that is we add either a little circle or a little dash. Or you can think of it as a zero or a one, which actually will make sense, and we'll see why in a second. Zero or a one. So, over here we have the card holder. One card holder for all of these examples. And then over here we have the card. A zero means the column does not have the not null characteristic, meaning it accepts no value. So, this is saying it can accept no value. So, we have a one to one relationship, that's the maximum. The card holder can have up to one card, but it's not required. So, zero or one cards. One or one cards. Zero, at least zero cards, because you can have up to many, or at least one card. So, this means not null, not null. Now when we design this, we're talking generally from table to table. So we would have card holder, and then card. And why do I have to say that? Basically because if we have, if we have a zero here, that means there's not necessarily going to be a relationship between a certain row. So when we're talking about rows, we might not actually draw a relationship between certain rows. When we draw relationships, we talk from table to table. And those relationships explain what rows can have relationships with different rows. So in this example, let's just focus on the top one just to make it easier. We would draw this within our database application. We would say we have the table, card holder, and then that has some kind of relationship with the table card. Now we could say one card holder can have zero up to one relationships with one individual card. So we have a card holder with the ID of 7, and then we have an ID, a card with the ID of 68, owned by the card holder 7. So that points back, and that's acceptable. We could also have a card uh, 
we could have a card 69, uh, and we could have a person 8, and we could say, oh, it doesn't have an owner. That's fine. We could have another card 70, and it can have the owner 8, which points back to 8. And then we could have another person, which could be 87, and we could have a card, we could have a card um, 63, which the, has the owner uh, 87. And that points back to the owner 87. So that's how those relationships work. Now, uh, at first, these can be kind of confusing, so just practice. Uh, make sure you fully understand how each one works. Just review, we could have, um, here's a, four possibilities we could have. Let me put that one up there, it makes more sense. One card holder can have zero or one card. One card holder can have one, only one card, because you can have one the least, and then up to one, and then you have one card holder zero or more, and then one card holder one or more. These two are required, meaning every single child has to have an owner. Or every single card has to have an owner. Every single child has to have a parent. So hopefully that all makes good sense. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.